Hey everybody, Flamin' Jackson here. I hope everybody's doing alright tonight. Tonight I'll be reviewing Clint's Texas Salsa Hot. So this is their hot uh, Texas salsa. It says proudly made in San Antonio. Since 1996. It says gluten-free, low sodium. <clears throat> alright y'all, and on the back here... It says, when I founded my company in 1996, my dream was to bring a delicious, fresh salsa to the market for folks who don't always have time to make it themselves because I had zero business experience at age 22. Most thought I was crazy to start my own company. <clears throat> Along the way, I sometimes wondered if they were right. But I had a driving passion to bring the freshest, best-tasting salsa to stores for everyone to enjoy. That feeling still goes into every jar my family and I make. To my customers, I just want to thank you for helping turn my dream into reality. Sincerely, Clint Poulter, founder and president of Clint's Texas Salsa. Award-winning salsa. And on the ingredients, you have tomatoes, Tomatoes, tomato juice, calcium chloride, citric acid, onions, serrano peppers, cilantro, garlic, tomato paste, salt, lemon juice, and distilled vinegar. And it says uh, you can visit them online at www.clintspincanti.com. Once again, that's www.clintspincanti.com. It says, distributed by Clint's Pinconti, Inc., 12 Thornhurst, San Antonio, Texas, 78218. And they got a phone number here, 210-274-5986. Refrigerate after opening. All right, y'all. I'm really thankful I had the opportunity to try this. I was uh, uh, shopping the other night and uh, thinking of something I could be doing reviews on. So I figured I'd give me some salsa. And, uh, you know, a lot of the sauces I've had so far, um, a lot of these sauces have jalapenos in it. And I noticed this in here actually has um, serrano peppers in it. Uh, a serrano pepper is hotter than a jalapeno, so I'm just curious if this is going to be hotter than a lot of the other ones I've tried. Alright y'all, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to taste some of this on the spoon first, and then I'm going to eat some with these tortilla chips. But once again, this is Clint's uh, Hot Texas Salsa. I'll show y'all the front of that before I taste it. That's what the front looks like there. Of course, the lid there. And on the back here. Hopefully that focused in and gave y'all opportunity to, you know, read it and everything. You can pause the video if y'all didn't get to see it. There we go. Mmm. I could definitely smell the onions in it. Pick it up on the tomatoes. I think I read it had cilantro in this. Yes, yeah, cilantro. I can smell the cilantro definitely. And the garlic. Alright, y'all. Alright, and I would say uh, this salsa here is a. I guess you would call us about a medium consistency. I mean, it ain't thin, but 
it ain't really thick neither. But I, I would say it's a medium consistency. But alright, y'all, let me get a taste here. Hmm. Okay. At first, I got, um, I could taste the sweetness of the tomatoes. I definitely taste the onion and the garlic in it. And then the, the heat, it gradually built a little bit. It ain't really a hot salsa, but it has it has a really good flavor. Like I was talking about the Roma, um, I could definitely pick up on the cilantro too in it, and um, and I'm also picking up on the lemon in it. Yeah, it's got lemon juice in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up on that lemon, that citrus, you know, that flavor. Yeah, I believe I would say it's about a medium consistency. It's definitely not a thick salsa. Alright, y'all. I am going to eat some more of this, but I just want to let you know what I think about it. Flavor-wise... <clears throat> Flavor-wise, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10 for flavor. It has a really good flavor. I mean, it really does. Um, Heat-wise, it doesn't really have a lot of heat. Um, I would say it's about a 1 uh, for a heat level. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it does have heat. And, and I guess if it's a non-chili head, it, um, it would probably have some heat to it, but... It's, for, as far as me, it's not hot at all. Uh, it is a really good salsa, though. I'll definitely recommend this to y'all to go out and try. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I do like this salsa here. Um, I was thinking that it probably would have been hotter than it is. But, but I'm not complaining. It is a really good salsa, y'all. Yeah, I'll definitely recommend this show. Um, once, in this, once again, this is Clint's, um, Clint's Hot Texas Salsa here. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. And um, I could definitely notice it has a lower sodium in it. I didn't realize this first one earlier when I, was, I started doing this review, but it's low sodium. For me, that's a good thing because I've been trying to watch my sodium lately. Um, yeah, I would um, definitely give this a 8 out of 10 uh, for flavor. Heat-wise, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. But this it, this is a really good salsa, so y'all need to go on out and get y'all some and try it out. Uh, start your YouTube channel and let us know what you think about it.
Um, it does have a really good flavor. Um, <clears throat> I do really like serrano peppers. Um, so go out there and get y'all something. And once again, I'm going to give y'all this website. And I'll also post it down below. Uh, www.clintspice. Sorry, sorry, y'all. Misread it. It's www.clintspinconti.com. www.clintspinconti.com. All right, y'all. Uh, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. It'll be more for where this came from. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be aware of any future videos. And also, <clears throat> before I go, y'all, make sure you check out Peppers for Christ. Uh, that's a YouTube channel. Also, check out Peppers for Christ, um, the Facebook group. Check out uh, Flamin' Jackson. That's also a Facebook group. And check out Flame On. That's another Facebook group y'all need to check out. I uh, appreciate y'all so much for watching these videos. Um, I'm going to be releasing a lot more content in the very near future, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, I got a lot of plans for this channel. So y'all have to stay tuned. Y'all find out very soon <laughs> what I'm going to be doing. But I hope y'all have a blessed night. And also, y'all, I hope y'all have a wonderful and a happy Easter. God bless y'all.